the idea is this four bed here, the cars will come in and they can swing in their own little parking area right next to the property. The reason for me sitting here looking at the, uh, the black garden the way I do. Is... You're seeing stuff that I don't right now. Yeah. I'm kind of just looking at it. First thing I'm thinking, by the way, is you need to start on this landscaping soon, otherwise you're gonna to have to re-rip out the garden with how quick this stuff's growing back. Yeah, and this is one of the things that we need to uh, contend with as well. So obviously we can scrape it off, keep scraping it off. At the end of the day, we turned it all over, so you're gonna get stuff growing through. Yep. So you try and kill some of this off, but you get the stuff that doesn't kill grass. Yep. So before we get onto what you're doing today, yeah. the reason I grabbed you and wanted to mic you up is you just stood there in like your own little trance staring at the levels back here. Yeah. What are you thinking? So where that water part's sticking up there, I want to build that level up this side. The other side we can't because obviously you've got to work to the damp course level of yep. the properties. We've had to work to the lower level being the cottage. So this stone was trimmed up not far off. And that, that back area, that's porcelain paving yeah. from where that water pipe is. What's the idea there? What's what you're thinking around this area back here? So over here, basically what we need to do is form the retainer. For the people watching, they don't know what a retainer is. What's a retainer? So basically just to retain the ground. That, okay. It does what it says on the tin. Retain the ground, we're gonna build that ground up, build it up in layers, compact it, and then we're gonna build it up to a suitable level so we can stone all this up, rip all this tarmac out, this concrete, mm -hmm. put some edging stones across the front of the drive, have it just tight one with some dressing stone on. Yep. So when you come on, it's also gonna act as a natural filter as well, so we're gonna put a little bit of a land drain system through it, which will link into the this drain system we'll have in the back garden. You'll be able to drive on. The idea is this four bed here, the cars will come in and they can swing in their own little parking area right next to the property. Yep. Um, which is gonna have post and rail fencing, so it's, it still looks open, Yep. but it's gonna serve a purpose. That way, the parking for the cottage can be over here, but without making this area look like a car park. Talk to me about what's going on here, because that's what you and Chris are really focusing on today. So today what we're doing is we're renewing the water pipe connection. So as you can see over there, looking at the brass coupler sticking out the ground. Let's go and, have a, let's go and point it out. Yeah. The lead pipe is shot and I weren't happy with it. So the idea is we're going to take this water pipe and we're going to take it all the way around to the meter. So we're going to swing it around this corner. Yeah. Not too sharp. Keep a nice flow and bring it over to the water meter. Here, we'll have Chris come in, do his connection, send the pipe round, connect straight up to a main stop tap, which will isolate both properties in because an emergency. I guess the point there is this property, as we know, this used to be one big property. Yeah. And then the previous owners downsized it, so we've got a house and a cottage, but we need a stop for both of them. Yeah. So where are they going to be? So, as I said, we're going to have a stop tap. We've got, we're going to have another one over here. Reason being is the stop tap here at the moment, when I went to turn it off the other week, it was really stiff okay. and there was still a trickle. So the idea is we're going to put a new connection on, new stop tap, MDPE, nice and reliable. Nice, okay. Right. So we'll come back around here and then when we get to the four bed, it'll have its own isolation valve stop tap and then that'll then go into the house and there'll be an internal stop tap as well. Perfect. Okay, so you've got three points of isolation. So you're digging that channel out, but you're not stopping here because we've got the cottage. Exactly, yeah. So we'll come to a T and off the other side of the T, it'll come straight down to the cottage and just trying to remember where the water feed is. I think we're coming in through this wall here because this is where the downstairs toilet's going to be. Yep. And you've got the kitchen next door as well. So we'll either pour one into the kitchen there and then put a T in and bring it into here. Yep. Or we'll bring it straight in to the property. My personal favourite would be swing it straight into the property. For me, it's just dig a trench out, assist Chris, get the connections on, and then uh, get it all backfilled. So get nice. some sand over it. And the next time we see you is going to be on the back garden in the future. Yes, it is, yeah. <laughs> So last time we were here on Monday, we were down here, had a play on the digger, but you started off grading this bottom area, but this is all done now. Do you want to talk me through what you've done? We spoke about uh, doing the garden in different sections, different levels. Yep. So we've done the bottom level, then we did a cut, shaved the bottom level of the four bed then, which is where the cameraman's standing now, and then this is going to be the top level for the four bed. Going to see how the ground lays once we've built the wall, 
to whether I'm going to take a little bit more off this because I'd like to keep it a little bit lower if I could okay. and then I'll probably use some of the Derbyshire stone to form a bit of a border it's like a just gentle walk up what I'm trying to avoid doing is putting too many steps in the garden makes sense I'd like to have like a little bit of a ramp okay we're well, talking about a ramp I can't believe you've got this in already do you want to talk through this and what was done here so yeah the idea was that where the dividing line is between the two properties I didn't want the access to be smack bang in the middle and take up too much of the garden so I can see the end of that curve if you draw a line straight through that is end of the property isn't it for the four bed yeah perfect so is the fence going to run in line with that looking at there's probably about um 300 mil difference okay fence going to sit in to the left of it as we're looking at it this is going to be a gravel strip down there you see between the two properties so that's going to help a bit of a soak away okay so as i said coming out the back of the four bed with a nice feature door straight up onto the ramp not eating too much into the garden then that gives you a lovely, great big space. And you can see the views we've got behind us. Stunning views. Gives you the best of that. We've spoken about the retaining wall, but this feels like the first bit of action to actually putting it into place. What are you doing here? So this is basically digging out for a footing. As you see, I've left this section in because there's no concrete blocks going in here. Okay. So don't need to do it. So the footing's done in two sections. We've got the lower section here, which isn't complete. It's going to go round down towards the brook then kick round this side. Um, this is again, low level wall up to say my waist height. Yep. As I'm sat here, stood here at the moment. And then it steps up. What's the requirement on depth when you're doing a footing like this? What are your considerations? It depends on ground condition. If you've hit really soft ground, then you obviously want to dig down and find something fairly firm before you start pouring footings. This has been quite nice for us to be fair. Okay. Uh, and then also got to consider that it isn't for a house. So when you go out to uh, do an extension of the house, you'll often get build, building control come out. They'll come out, check the ground conditions, check your depths and give you the okay before you pull your foot in. Okay. So again, this is down to experience. This is just a basic retaining wall in the garden. So you don't have to go that far with it. Nice.